Yo, people. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Kendrick dropped a new album. He was dissing a lot of people. I did not check out the album. It's only from what I'm seeing on YouTube. I'm seeing thumbnails saying this. I'm seeing th um, titles saying that. I do not want to check out the album, bro. Like, I, don't, I do not want to react to it. I, 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 I'm going to listen to it, but I'm not going to react to it. For reasons being that I don't normally get a lot of engagement on mainstream industry type reactions, you know. So I'm staying in the lane where the analytics or the views or the market reflects. Unless it is something that I feel good good about um, <laughs> talking about. And uh, I would even I would do it if I didn't even get any views on it, you know. Because in this situation, this is a music-related topic. So Drake's situation got much worse. <laughs> yes. And uh, we be hearing that Drake be suing people like <laughs> uh, final lawsuits because he, he got hurt feelings, you know? But yeah, guys, let's check this out. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, share the video if you enjoy it. And those who have already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, let's get this. So Drake's latest antics might be his most bold, but also his most insecure move of the entire year. It has been months since I last updated you guys on Drake, and back in the summer he was trying to make it seem like he was unbothered at every turn. Going bowling under the name 69 God, trying to show the world he wasn't a deadbeat father, and of course striking the duck lips pose time and time again. But I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna come to a point in life where people you thought were friends, where people you thought were close to you, they might switch up, they might try to move funny with you, Yo, Drake talking about fake friends on stage and the crowd doesn't care. Dang. Yo, he got roasted without even, anyone even saying nothing just by a caption. They might do a lot of things to you. Sometimes it's you alone with your thoughts. Sometimes, you know what? Let's talk about it. But now it looks like he might be quite possibly the most bothered man on the entire planet. For those of you that hadn't heard, Drake is now handing out lawsuits in regards to the Not Like Us diss record released against him by Kendrick Lamar earlier this year. And he's not even suing because he was being called a PDF. He's suing because he claims that the record label UMG artificially inflated the number of streams on this record using modern day payola and streaming bots. Frozen <laughs> Moments LLC, which is exclusive <laughs> Yo, everybody uses uses bots, bro. You might not even know, like you as the artist might not even know that bots are being um purchased to run up your streams or run up your 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 engagement and stuff like that. Some of them do know, but some of them might not know, and it's the it's um in the wheelhouse of the the label, so. <clears throat> Uh, everyone's everyone's um um running fake numbers but not all the time you know some of them when they got that track record well even if they got that track record so, you know there is some stupid person at, at the label that saying that yeah we need to get these initial numbers up so that people can see those and then the people will want to go and um give it a chance because they see a large number and that that actually works, you know, that actually works. But we know that people with big followings, big fan bases, people are going to show up either way. Owned by Drake is now asking for a civil RICO to be levied against streaming service Spotify and recording label UMG Recordings. Drake says they conspired to knock him off the top of the mountain due to disagreements about their partnership <laughs> that he and UMG have maintained for years, and that they used Kendrick and his song Not Like Us as a vehicle to essentially do just that. And in the lawsuit, Drake's team points out that Spotify is the biggest music streaming platform on earth, and they immediately paint the ties between them and UMG, noting their ongoing licensing agreements that they've had in place since 2020, and also that Spotify brought UMG at least 19% of their overall revenue in 2023. Basically, he's saying that these two have a close and very important partnership, 
In 2024, UMG did not rely on chance or even ordinary business practices to break through the noise on Spotify and likely other music platforms. It instead launched a campaign to manipulate and saturate the streaming services and airwaves with a song, Not Like Us, in order to make that song go viral, including by using bots and pay-to-play agreements. On information and belief... Yeah, and that's a, that's a, 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 a cell phone farm. It's not like... A, a, it, it, it does what whenever people talk about bots that those are the ones that they might be talking about some people might be talking about literal um bots like scripts that are that are made to go and manipulate data on certain websites you know but those ones are more easily flagged by bot detection systems and the ones where they have multiple cell phones with multiple accounts going to check out um websites those are less likely to be flagged as bots if umg charged spotify licensing rates 30 percent lower than its usual licensing rates for not like us in exchange for spotify affirmatively recommending the song to users who are searching for other unrelated songs and artists neither umg nor spotify disclosed that spotify had received compensation of any kind in exchange for recommending the song so drake is basically claiming that umg approached spotify with this offer to make more money off of a hit record than they normally would or at least to keep a larger percentage of the pie do you mind if i yeah. take a little sliver Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beauty. <laughs> and in return, all they had to do was use their platform strategically to run the numbers up by boosting the algorithm for the song in an inorganic way. Drake also claims that UMG directly or through Interscope also conspired with and paid currently unknown parties to use quote unquote bots to artificially inflate and spread not like us and deceive consumers into believing the song was more popular than it was in reality. One individual unknown to Yo, this song was a good song, bro. Stop, stop, stop with the, stop with the, stop, stop with the, the shade, stop with, the song was a good song, especially the music video when they, when he just dropped that snip, that, that snippet thing. Yo, woke up with the back, hey, keep a horn on me, that in my seat. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, it, it, it was vibey, bro. That, vi that made you want to start moving and dancing. So, yeah. People are looking forward to that. Yeah. If that song is on his new album, I, I might just react to it. Even though I said, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from most industry related, mainstream related um, uh, music and trying to stay away from copyrighted music at, at, at altogether. But if I see something and I jive with it and I rock with it, it's going to get a reaction, people. Yeah. Petitioner revealed publicly on a popular podcast that Mr. Kendrick Lamar Duckworth's label, i.e. Interscope, paid him via third parties to use bots to achieve 30 million streams on Spotify <laughs> in the first days of the release of Not Like Us, with the goal of jumpstarting the song's spread and turning it into a crazy hit on the platform. The whistleblower further revealed that on May 6, 2024, an individual affiliated with Interscope sent him a payment of $2,500 via the digital payments platform Zelle, which is owned by a number of banks, and that he was promised another $2,500 and a percentage of the song total sales for this initial push and the popular podcast that they're talking about is actually dj academics live show that he does i talked about this apparent <laughs> whistleblower in one of my last videos about drake and the guy didn't really seem to have a lot of merit to his claims so somebody reaches out to you so drake is using a shady shady whistleblower as an argument in the lawsuit to seem to, to, to <laughs> Ah, uh, this this was uh, as as I said. Well, this was debunked a, a few months ago. You know when people were trying to like, you know, make it seem like Kendrick didn't really do what he does. You know, didn't really have that have that 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 man. This song looked like it, it literally was engineered to be a hit song by Kendrick. You know, yeah. And they acting like this dude doesn't rap. Like they they don't they acting like this dude don't make music. Like like he doesn't know how to make a hit song. For thirty million streams, what'd you tell them? How many? How much money? So I was promised payments after, but up front I was promised five k. They sent they uh, sent me two point five k, 
And then I was also promised after the song performed, I was also going to receive, you know, a, a little percentage of the song. So points on the song. They, and they also, the reason they did it is because they also needed that song to win. It's just hilarious to me that even in the lawsuit itself, they won't mention DJ Academics by name. You know, Drake <laughs> is fine using DJ Academics to push all this various <laughs> propaganda on Twitter and YouTube and during his live streams. But then mm -hmm. when it comes to giving out an interview or showing love, he's never doing it for Academics. He's always doing it for people like Aiden Ross. Recently, he went on XQC. And it's just funny that Academics is his most loyal lapdog, but he literally gets treated like a redheaded stepchild. He treating, yes. like, he treating like you like 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 how when a thoughts in a DM. Stop. Oh, I ain't trying to link her tonight. Keep it <laughs> the book. That don't make him a fuck nigga, bro. Like that. Act, yeah. that does, act that does because when he needs you, he'll send you DMs. He'll play old buddy buddy with you, but he really don't fuck with you. How you showing the mad love? He don't show you no love. You think Drake shows you love? Yeah, Drake showed me a lot of love. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the, the octaves, the octaves, you can in his voice, his voice went up, bro. <laughs> his voice went high pitch. And uh, yo, so he knows he lying right there and his freaking voice gave him away. <laughs> yo, I've never seen, seen like anything official. If there's something out there, you know, people in the comments going to let me know. But I've never seen anything official of, of DJ Academics getting acknowledgement from, from, from Drake, you know? Or nothing yet they've worked on together. No no, no uh, podcast appearances, no stream appearances, nothing like that. How? What's he doing? To show you love. I got exclusive info. I'm Act, that's Apple not Apple love. I'm on You're, what, what do you do with that exclusive info? You say it to the world, you gas it up 10 times more. He's using you as a free uh, a billboard, free promo. Yes. Act, you're yes. the biggest media platform, man. What that got to do with Drake? I mean, the fact that this is mentioned in the footnotes of the filing is just hilarious. Even academics have to admit it. The fact that this is mentioned in the footnotes of the filing. Yeah, that, 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 okay. okay, yes, footnotes of the filing. So they're using Axe video as as like evidence <laughs> of their being foul play with the the numbers of the track filing is just hilarious even academics had to admit at some point that this botting narrative on spotify was nonsense and he verified with someone at spotify who he trusted that the streams were all legit i, I i'll be honest with you i talked to my man from spotify I won't say the name right now but legit spotify nigga he said hey yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what that person on your stream was talking about. Them streams, them Kendrick streams is real. Drake even takes this yes. claim further to suggest that, that Apple too. even got in on the action. UMG appears to have used similar tactics with other streaming services on information and belief that UMG paid or approved payments to Apple Inc. to have its voice activated digital assistant Siri purposely misdirect users to not like us. Online sources reported what? that when users asked Siri to play the album. Yo. Yo, uh, wait, 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 wait. The al album was Certified Lover Boy. Certified Lover Boy by recording artist Aubrey Drake Graham, aka Drake. Siri instead played Not Like Us, which contains the lyric Certified. Oh, an allegation. <laughs> That's crazy. An allegation <laughs> against Drake. <laughs> but yeah, look. <laughs> Computer programs can be, ma can be manipulated to do stuff like that but thinking up a freaking conspiracy of money being exchanged for it to happen when you are when you're on the on the losing end it doesn't bode well for your argument bro you're gonna you're just gonna seem like you're 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 just a sore loser bro you're just a sore loser that does not acknowledge and don't and and um don't want to believe that they have lost now finding every other reason to 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 say that they didn't lose you know but i know from being like a tech enthusiast you know i might not have the skill but i am aware that if you want a program to do something you can code it to do that thing once you have the skills to do so so it is possible that Siri can do that, but I don't think it did. I don't think no money exchanged to to get that done. <laughs> against Drake. Now I did find That's videos a of this time. happening online. Play Certified Lover Boy on Spotify. I see dead people. That's what? crazy.
But honestly, I would chalk this up to an algorithm mistake. The term certified lover boy is said in Not Like Us, and so Siri took people to that song. You can do this right now with the Drake <laughs> record. Like today, I told Siri to play me Lean In, Lean In Soda, and it pulled up his song Virginia Beach. And here is where Drake really starts to get into the trenches of being down bad, where he starts crying that Not Like Us was yeah, being played be on book. the radio an unfair amount of times. And he even claims that UMG was putting Twitter pages on payroll to endorse the song and the video for Not mm. Like Us. Specifically, he lists the Canadian dudes from the NFR podcast as part of its deal with UMG. The NFR podcast published podcast episodes and other content publicly about the song, like they literally do for almost all major music releases, including all of Drake's. And in a sea change for UMG's internal <laughs> policy, UMG removed the song's copyright restrictions on YouTube and Twitch, thereby whitelisting the song for the first time in UMG history, which further incentivized influencers to spread the song. This is yep, I remember that. I remember that. It's also another lie because people ended up getting hit with copyright notice. Um, the song was whitelisted. A lot of um. A lot of YouTubers, well, at least it was probably whitelisted for major YouTubers, you know, YouTubers that probably have a certain amount, a certain number of um subscribers, you know, they have a bigger reach. And uh, those YouTubers themselves are came out and said that, yes, Kendrick, Kendrick got the say we say we can all eat off this track. Well, it was like about four months, uh, like a 30 day period. And then after that, um, everyone was start started getting hit with like copyright claims and stuff like that. So they made money for that one that for for one month. And then after that, UMG said, no, 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 no. You thought we forgot. No, we coming back for that. Yeah, you got your time. Yeah, I'm taking everything after this. <laughs> And a lot of people was upset, you know, a lot of people was upset also. This is and takedowns. In my case, I, I, I got that copyright claim on day one. I got it. I got it. Day one, the video was uploaded. <laughs> and that's the, the reason why I'm saying that I try to stay away from copyrighted music unless it seems interesting. Like you see some weird, like you see, I'm doing some weird reactions like that one with that, with that sexy, um, um death metal t type <laughs> one <laughs> one of these type video you know and i'm gonna find more music related stuff and funny music related stuff to bring to you guys speaking on that i found the breakdown video for that mario don't save her i'm gonna react to that soon let you guys get it you know yeah left and right for the Not Like Us song and music video. And to me, even if all of this is true about paying off the Twitter pages and the podcast, it's like, okay, is a label that crazy for paying for promotion? Like, this is something that has happened since the dawn of entertainment. And then this yes. lawsuit lists all of the accomplishments they and the accolades payola. that this song has garnered, with its sheer numbers as it smashed a ton of Drake's previously held records. And this is where things get extra messy because Interscope gets directly involved. UMG's schemes to artificially inflate the popularity of Not Like Us were motivated, at least in part, by the desire of executives at Interscope to maximize their profits. Mm -hmm. UMG executives mm -hmm. have an annual incentive program pursuant to which they are rewarded for meeting and surpassing sales and profit projections, among other metrics. The incentives are largely based on the specific UMG division, rather than the performance of UMG more generally. For example, the annual incentive, a bonus of Interscope CEO, John Janik, is based 90% on the financial success of Interscope and only 10% of the financial success of UMG generally, thus on information and belief that Mr. Janik and other executives at Interscope have been incentivized to maximize the financial success of Interscope through the promotion of Not Like Us and its revitalized mm -hmm impact mm -hmm. on the artist prior <laughs> so yeah because they know okay they're saying that people have a vested interest in making this song big so that they can line their pockets basically that's the long and that's the that's the summary summary of it recording catalog including his first five <laughs> studio albums which are owned by interscope well it's like duh if one of my big legacy act artists catches the hottest record of the year of course we're gonna push it and the thing yes. is it's not like kendrick's it's other albums have not made yo and it's called like promo bro you remember when uh well <laughs> um people were complaining that K ksi was pr promoting his new song think of it i haven't even reacted to that and i haven't even listened to that uh, as of yet let me know if you want to see me react to it you know, what well, case I gonna claim that? Uh, uh, never mind. You know, <laughs> never mind. But yeah, the dude had vehicles like like promo trucks driving around playing the music. 
yes, he was promoting his music. Uh, he is doing a press run. So whenever a, a, a label um, has a hot track out, they're going to be promoting it. Even if it's not hot, hot and they want it, want people to be interested, they're going to put it on some of those electronic billboards, um, get some, get some town cars to drive around playing it. And, um, like with a, with an ad attached to it, you know? Yeah. Maintain their place on the charts. I'm pretty sure the good kid Mad City has like the longest run on the charts of any rap album of all time. And the other thing is that this is something that Drake himself has likely benefited from time and time again. And Drake has apparently been seeking damages over Not Like Us and has been in contact with UMG trying to work something out. UMG allegedly refused to engage in negotiations. Instead, UMG has pointed the finger at Mr. Duckworth, insisting that Drake should initiate legal action against Mr. Duckworth rather than themselves, and even threatened to bring its own legal claims against Mr. Duckworth if Drake wants to pursue claims against. UMG. Mr. Duckworth, for those of you who are Dang. unaware, is Kendrick. So basically, since Drake is going through with this lawsuit, UMG might be investigating. Mr. Du what? <laughs> okay. Kendrick themselves, which is ultimately what I think Drake wants, is to try and kill these two birds with one stone. Streaming and licensing is a zero-sum game. Every time a song breaks through, it means that another artist does not. UMG's choice to saturate the music market with Not Like Us comes at the expense of its other artists. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm surprised that Mr. Duckworth being Kendrick, yo, I don't go, I, I don't go further than the music into people's into into these artists lives so if it's not their real name they have on their youtube account i call them on what by what is on their youtube account or their artist name or whatever they go by publicly i don't look for freaking legal names bro <laughs> yeah so yeah if that's just to you know you get ahead of that one comment you know that one comment yes that's saying that he, you 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 haven't been listening to Kendrick for a long time. You new to this, yeah like Drake. As Drake is the petitioner's sole owner, which is the OLC I was talking about earlier, and the petitioner owns the copyright to Drake's entire catalog, petitioner suffered economic harm as a result of UMG's scheme. I don't know, I just think it's such a pussy move for Drake to do this, because even if he is telling the truth about everything going on in the background, these are also things that he has been the beneficiary of for decades. Does nobody remember when Spotify would ride Drake's tip and place him as the entire homepage for every single yes. user on the platform? Was that yes. not boost? Yes, that is boosting his reach. That is boosting his uh, his um his <laughs> his content, bro. And some could actually say that money was exchanged. Same as how like um he is claiming that money was exchanged in Kendrick's case right now. People could have said that about his case previously, where people was seeing Drake each and everywhere on Spotify. They could have said it, said it was bots also. They could have said UMG colluded with Spotify to do that. Yes. So, look. You, are be you have benefited from the same thing that you are accusing Kendrick of right now. And I'm not saying that anything, anything that he's brought up in the suit is, is true or not. It all remains to be proven. It's, it's all allegations at this point. So it's all allegedly, you know? Boosting his algorithm. I mean, they had to give refunds after that shit. It was so bad. It's just crazy that for decades, they constantly promoted Drake like no other artist. He is the artist on the most viral playlist. He is shoved in our face constantly. But now that someone else is getting that same shine, it's like his ego can't take it. He's yes. acting like the kid who goes home and cries to his mom and then they sue for assault after he gets his ass whooped. Even though he was the <laughs> one who was instigating the fight. He was begging Kendrick to drop, drop, drop. And now this fool is out here suing people because drop, he lost. Drop. UMG responded to these claims, by the way. And they say the suggestion that UMG would do anything to undermine any of its artists is offensive and untrue. We employ the highest ethical practices in our marketing and promotional campaigns. No look at my face, good. Look, look at, look at me, look at me, look at me. These people employing the highest ethical practices. Yo, I don't trust any large corporation. They just saying that to look good. But um, I don't think 
um I don't think it's this case with um Kendrick and stuff they're talking about. I'm just talking in general. You know, large large corporations and corporate behavior, you know? Yes. No amount of contrived and absurd legal arguments in this pre-action submission can mask the fact that fans choose the music they want to hear. And it's been rumored that Drake has been at war with UMG for years, and Kanye was even out here saying things like this. Drake has a rich baby daddy named Lucian and Universal. Wow. <laughs> He's like, you know, like, man, my daddy got it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow. my daddy controlled the spins. My daddy got the DSPs. My daddy, Drake wow. has a rich baby daddy. Now, obviously, Kendrick <laughs> recently <laughs> dropped his surprise album, GMX, completely out of nowhere. Like, I'm talking Why? about no promotion, no Bono. rollout, nothing. Just here you go, damn. And as a fan of Kendrick, I thought it was really good. It had some for sure hits with Squabble Up and Luther. And it was a cool 44-minute project. I really felt like this was kind of just an open. Yo, what the heck is it? Yo, don't, don't show this right here. I haven't, I, I haven't checked out none of this yet. So let's move to on. California culture in general. But my initial thought is that Kendrick likely has more coming than this before the Super Bowl performance. The night it dropped, Drake would actually go on XQC's stream, acting extra salty. And this was his initial message to the world. I'm Drake. This is XQC, real streaming legend. Me, I do music in case you didn't know. I'm here, as you can see, fully intact. Mind, body, and soul, you need facts to take me out. Fairy tales won't do it. As you guys can see, Drake cut off the braids and now appears to be balding from the stress of this battle. He would also break down every time XQC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, that, 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 that joke got me, bro. That joke, <laughs> that joke got me. I started coughing. Yeah, up here, cut off the braids and then he appears to go, be going bald from the, <laughs> from the stress. Yo, Jamar, you ain't yo, you you not have no both yeah, weird. He accidentally played artist he has a problem with like the weekend or future. You have to switch this on though. Real we're real sixers, we're real sixers, they're real real six. You have to switch this song though. <laughs> I understand. I understand. You know, you know a situation just happened and uh, you have a guest on that was involved in that situation. So as a freaking like, you know, like, because this is like, a, a, it's not an interview, but it functions as one. So you wouldn't have an adversary's like thing if you want to make the guest comfortable on your on your platform, you know? Yeah, so I understand, but <laughs> him getting hurt by, by that, you got to change the song. I, yo... Yeah, that just shows that you, yeah, them feelings are still hurt, you know? Sad. We don't listen to that. And understandably so. And overall, he still seems to be the same fragile guy we've always known since he was in a wheelchair on Degrassi. This is the most Karen, sore loser moments I've ever seen a rapper go through. I mean, he did all this exact same shit to Meek Mill back in the day. Back to back was all over the radio. It was yes. being promoted by Spotify. It was yes. playing at house parties and sport events. And yes. now that the rabbit has the gun, well, Drake doesn't seem to like that very much. <laughs> and he basically wants to take his ball home after getting skunk 21 to Zippo. I mean, I have to yep. think that Drake does have stronger evidence than this DJ Academics live stream. For him to put that 30% number out there, when it comes to the licensing agreement makes me think that he has to have some pretty bona fide information at his disposal so we'll see how this plays Probably. out did not like us definitely damage his career and his reputation absolutely did it cause him future financial harm yes but that's what happens when you get your ass beat in a battle i mean look at what happened to ja rule after 50 cent i don't know i want to know what you guys think about this entire situation down below also want to thank you guys for watching today's video dropping a like and subscribing but as you guys know it's been your boy the tan superman and some other rap lawsuits out here need to be covered Okay, <laughs> Jamar, aka the Tan Superman. <laughs> yo, that's it, man. That's it, yo, people. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the situation in the comments. Yes, <laughs> it's funny. It's entertaining, especially when um commentators cover covered or like YouTubers that compile the information to make it entertaining. You know, but yeah. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, you know, it's Wolf. I'll see you in the next one, you know. Yeah. Peace out. You take your mask. Let's get this. Let's get this. Later, people. <laughs>